Welcome back to another video. We have some single digit weather coming our way tomorrow. And just like a lot of you guys probably do. And so what we're gonna do is I got my buggy here. We're gonna make our rounds and make sure everybody's fed and warm for this huge cold front that we have coming in. Now in a moment, you guys are gonna hear some of my friends yelling for me letting me know that they're happy to see me and they want something. <laughs> they must be really happy to see me because they've touched the fence three times. So Cooney Cooney pigs, they do really well in cool weather as long as they have two things. And that is food, as long as they have the food that they need because they do burn calories when they are warming their bodies and they need some bedding. So we're gonna add some bedding to their house so they don't freeze their little hams off tonight. And we have some food. So that's the first thing they want. Let's give it to them. Hello, hello. Why do they like this bowl more? It's the same thing. And the next step is to take this hay, probably a quarter of it or so, and we're gonna fill it inside of their, their bedding. And they're gonna love that. They will completely bury themselves. They build a nest every single night. And so we wanna give them the material that they need to stay warm and pile all up on each other and be nice and cozy in this single digit weather that we're about to get tomorrow. And now this, all this hay in here, you may be thinking, well, oh, that's a little too much but it's not this is how they like it completely i mean really we could fill this all the way up to the top and it wouldn't be too much this is what pigs like and now whenever i think about them when those cold temperatures are coming in i'll think of them cuddled up in all this hay and being nice and warm let's move on to the next ones we're back to pulling this buggy around heading to our next spot now with this being a reptile homestead, it's not just pigs we're checking on. That's actually the bigger part of the job is the reptiles. The mammals naturally just do better with this cool weather. The cold blooded critters here on the farm, those are the ones that I have some, I'm doing something a little different with them this year. I'll show you guys. That'll be our next stop is the big tortoises. some food scraps from in our house and some alfalfa pellets that have been soaked. Just gonna mix all these things together. Give it a shake. guy here this is Esteban we got him when he was just a tiny little piglet smaller than the ones that we just looked at much smaller and now he's the dad to those piglets great addition to the farm we love having cooney coonies they eat our food scraps they're easy to care for they're fantastic they help prepare our gardens um, they're just the perfect addition to our little farm here. And here is the portable pig house that we've been working on in the last couple videos. Mac is using it right now, but this, I dragged it over here, no problem. We've got it complete. 
added this handle onto it um, with these little hooks here. It's it's perfect. It's really light, easy to move around, and it's going to work great. Once we start rotating the pigs over all of our property back here and in the front to improve the soil, improve the land, and to raise pigs and raise our own pork. So. We're gonna replenish their bedding as well. Now let's head on over to our cold-blooded friends, the tortoises, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing with them this year. As you guys can see, we've got a tarp wrapped around their house. So what I decided to do was take this really long tarp, cut it to where it's six foot wide. That way I can fold it over three times and then it wraps around this whole tortoise house twice. And so right now I have it knocked down because I'm letting them out today. But tomorrow I will pick it up, use these bricks to block off the entrance. That should keep them warm enough, even in these single digits. But I'm going to have to monitor them, keep a close eye on it, and hope our power doesn't go out. So over here at the Sulcatas, same setup. Their tortoise house is the same size just a little bit shorter. I opened this up, already there's some walking around the yard. It looks like one of them might be pacing, looking for a spot to lay her eggs. But we're gonna go ahead, spread some food out here, give them the opportunity to come out because after tomorrow afternoon, they'll be locked in here for, for a few days. So, at least. So this one is two tortoise houses in one with a divider. We've got our red foots on one side, our Burmese and elongateds on the other. In the 50s outside right now, but the sun is out. I I'm going to let them out, let them get a drink, and then we're going to feed them in here. That way they can come back. As soon as I open the door each day, they're going to come right around this back, straight to the water. Watch. Here they come. This is one of my favorite parts of the day is letting them out and watching them do their routine. They're gonna come right over that stone, dunk their entire heads in the water and get a big drink. Look at them. Here they come. next door and opening the door for the elongated tortoises and the Burmese. They're not quite as fast as the Redfoots are coming out, but they'll all be out soon doing the same thing, getting a drink from their pond that's right behind us. This is their first year outside during the winter, and so they're all still in training. So what I like to do is feed them inside of their house that teaches them to come back here. Some of the things we buy for them, a lot of the things are just things that are left over. You know, my kids don't always like to eat mangoes that have brown spots, so I'll give that to them. And they enjoy it. We also had some mushrooms left over from the other night. They love mushrooms. So every single red foot is already out except for this one. So we're gonna give them some mango, some greens, grapes, mushrooms, and blueberries as well. 
he's probably going to stay right around here now and eat some of that before he goes out and gets his drink. Another leopard tortoise has made his way out and I see another one that's about to come. I'm sure they'll all come out today, get a drink of water, eat some food before they head back in for the night. Enclosures here have box turtles in them, Chinese box turtles and Gulf Coast box turtles. They don't need any heat during the winter. They burrow underground. Some of them are in the water. Some of them are underneath this log. They're spread out inside of their enclosures and they do just fine all winter long without any heat. But I do like to take some hay. Like I can tell, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's a little bit of a mound right here. There's, that means there's a turtle underneath there. What I like to do, spread a little bit of hay where I know they are. It's probably not something I need to do, but I like to do it. I also know that there's some sleeping in this log underneath this hibiscus bush. So, we'll just cover the opening a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we're doing to deal with this weather. And maybe it gave you some tips on things that you could do or maybe you just found it interesting. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along, and I'll do an update video once this weather passes to let you guys know how this tarp idea worked and let you guys know if we, we made it through. So the last step for me for today, getting ready for this cold weather is getting the generator up and running, making sure that it starts easily. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.